Uh, welcome back to Last Call. I guess you could say Nelly Furtado is singing right now. What are you singing? You always sing. Blow in the wind. You never stop singing. Sometimes, sometimes. I okay, love I'm done. it. Um, I was going to say, and I mentioned at the top of the show, what a what a, uh, a versatile artist you are, and and one of the rare people that in the last ten years that I've spoken to that um, whose musical roots were incredibly rich and incredibly deep in an age where that's very rare. Oh, thank you. Tell me a little bit about your background. Let's start with your parents. Yeah, my parents. Wow. Well, my parents are from the Azores Islands, Portugal, <laughs> which is... <laughs> yeah. Portugal's in the house. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's colonized the world there. And they were very um, musical themselves. Yeah, um, they were. My mother, is a. <clears throat> she sings in the church choir, and she always had since I was small. But her grandfather, her father, her great uncle, her brothers, they were all musicians, singers, composers. They wrote marching band scores. Right. So that's where the musical, like playing instruments and um, arranging things, that's where that comes from. And um, the singing and the performing, maybe, from my mother. But then there's such a rich... Um, you know, songwriting tradition in Portugal as well, so. Right, so it's just around you your entire, entire childhood. Yeah, I just was into everything. You know, obviously when you have, like, basically it's, it's pretty much in my, in my blood because of my relatives, right, writing all the time. So I was kind of, it was kind of like eating or drinking to me, you right. know, or sleeping, singing, you know, writing. Even, even the, the, the many myself. genres of music, not just one? Oh, well, no. Well, it started like that when I was young. And right. then I was, you know, privileged enough to speak English at home. I mean, and then go to Portuguese school at night. You know, my mom, you know, took the liberty of putting us in Portuguese school and right. making sure we learned about our culture. So, so already singing in two languages opens your mind up a lot. Um, when I started to write, you know, go about my own and write my own when I was 12, that's when I got into, like, first hip-hop and urban stuff. Right. And then through all that, you know, going to, moving to Toronto, doing trip-hop, electronic music. What was your first connection with hip-hop? Because the, my first time I ever heard you was the obviously... suburbs. Really. <laughs> Because the first thing, oh, I'm like, because <laughs> I'm like a bird. The first time I heard radio it on the radio, and magazines and pump it up with yeah. D Barnes. <laughs> I never would have pegged you to be a, a hip hop or trip hop sort of vibe. Uh, yeah, I know it's funny. It's weird because uh, people see me and they're like, "Oh, she's so young! Wow, she just fell out of the sky and wrote a song." <laughs> You're like, "No, I'm 40. Relax." <laughs> yeah, and uh, and it's but it's funny. I have uh, like nine musical lives, really. Um, I was just that kid who was just so into music and so inquisitive, and I would literally, I was like, he just snuck out of my you know my window at age fourteen, so I could go to like a jam and watch people turn table and open mic and things like that. So. Right. And you hung out in malls in Canada well, and freestyled. No, well the thing is, I always talk about how you know music. Everyone talks about how music is cyclical and things come around again, right. but I really don't think we felt the full impact of hip hop music because it's so new. So now you're gonna feel that in pop music more, in popular culture more, because kids my age have grown up always listening to it, so it's not foreign. Right. It's just a part of, you know, it's just a part of everything now. But for your background, so. coming from that that we all talked about uh, into the first single, and as far as we know, the Nelly Furtado that we heard in I'm Like a Bird, to me, listening to, like here in New York, to the rap station, hearing Get Your Freak on the remix, mm. I was like, I can't believe that's like... That would have been almost like hearing, um, you know, like an Alanis Morissette or something on a remix of a record. It yeah, blew me yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the luxury of hearing "Get Your Freak On" for the first time right. on big speakers in a studio. So it was like, how did you Ooh. figure out your part on that song? <laughs> did you just go in there and start? Yeah, I just showed up. This is what singing this your is part what a little bit, up. just just the chotting part. <laughs> if she's a freak, then I'm the cheap bed banger with the top down low on the floor, cause it's so. Fr I'm gonna do it later. I'm no, that's fine. <laughs> At Nelly's show, I've been to thousands and thousands of concerts in my life. I've never seen a more eclectic group of people. Uh, <laughs> Fourteen-year-old to sixteen-year-old girls with signs, a very sort of TRL-esque crowd. A huge, a huge reggae slash hip-hop. People were burning. There were, there was, I, I'm, I swear to God, Alice. it was like reggae. You got the, the guy, the one and the two. I, I just couldn't, I can't, pe do you know who your fan is? One and the two. My fan is, is every, everyone, you know? Um, just Anybody who has has a heart, who has, who sort of, um, who likes to smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know why they're smiling, that's for sure. Uh, you had a bit of, I saw two girls in the mosh begin to a fight. Oh my God, let me tell you. Did you this see is that? a new trend with the, my tour, this new tour. And by the way, when you walk in, it's just like, it's like what she's wearing tonight. It's very... Uh, uh, it very, it's very glowy, it's fluorescent. It's candy store. It's, it's candy. Stuffed into a ghetto it's, blaster. It's like Willy Wonka <laughs> or something. Willy Wonka, that's so my inspiration. Willy Wonka, Rainbow Bride, right. all those things. That's like, right. <laughs> 
when you were a 10 year old, you know, like. Wait, so I'm talking about this new trend of fighting at the okay, mosh pit okay, at the Nelly Furtado show. We are, we are, we're, we're trying to count, we're starting to count how many fights. It's females are fighting at my show. Why? <laughs> they're getting into, I don't know, they just like, they get there and they're like, whoa! They're, they're discovering their adrenaline or something and then they just don't know how to use it. Or right. <laughs> but it's during like, I'm like a bird. You know, one time I was on like a bird and I had to stop. These two girls were like pulling each other's hand. I'm like, ladies, it's a happy Yeah, song. please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Join the reggae crew on the, on the other side and maybe you'll be all it's, right. It's, it's strange. It's, it's a oh, well, at least it's not the guys fighting, so. Right, well, you're enjoying the tour, you're enjoying everything since the Grammys, I know. Uh, that must have been a crazy night, it's throwing you in a whole aftermath. Oh, the Grammys. The Grammys were amazing. You know what me. sucked, I thought, is that guy, is Michael Green, the president and CEO of Neris. His speech was like a half an hour long. It was, he just went off on a tirade about uh, the issue of downloading music. When I was so stoked to see Alicia Keys, who was nominated for six, picked up five, I actually wanted to hear her talk. Yeah. And the orchestra came up, Bono yeah. wanted to talk. It seemed like they were cutting everybody's acceptance yeah. speech. And then this guy went off about just some BS for like a half an hour. <laughs> Did you hear the speech? And now you got your own show so you can vent about it. It just pissed me <laughs> off, yeah, <laughs> damn right. Right, did you hear the speech? You can talk for a whole half hour, You're damn Carson. right. We'll be an hour. I don't care. <laughs> Turn off the lights. What the hell do I care? We'll be right back with Nelly Furtado. She's going to perform. <laughs>